Yo, ho, 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 ho. I'm Jason Eubanks, and today's bowling bar review is going to be on the Hammer Black Widow 3.0. I'll be bowling at Mesa East Bowl in Mesa, Arizona, and I will finally be on something fresh throwing this ball. So, the five shot challenge, one time only, I already threw this ball. I still don't know what it was gonna do, but I threw it again. I tried to record this on Super Bowl Sunday. Said they oil, but I think they didn't and missed a pair. It's like bowling on a bumper party pair and everything that I threw looked terrible. I had to pretty much re-scrap and reshoot it a different day, which is the footage you're gonna see now. So we're gonna get into the five shot challenge. The ball did touch the lane, unfortunately already. We're gonna transition that into the edit, then come back with my final thoughts. All right, let's check that out. Yo, 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 it's your boy, Mr. Eubanks. I'm getting loose with the Roto Grip clone. Um, just a little behind the scenes. I actually already threw the Black Widow 3.0. Um, I tried shooting this on Super Bowl Sunday. And I thought they oiled, but it was like carry down from the night before. So the ball just looked terrible. So I couldn't, I couldn't put out that video without giving it a fair shot. That way I knew because nothing looked good on Sunday at all. Like the hazmat looked terrible. So that's how you know. So that's the clone. Uh, I'm gonna change balls to my, I'm gonna ball up. Honestly, this is a ball up to my hazmat. So same place, same target. See, 1000% ball up. Asymmetric versus symmetrical. The asymmetric isn't always, won't always give you the most motion. Um, and I do not have a solid asymmetrical to compare the ball to, but once I'm out of my solid asymms, I'm out of them. I always go to a symmetrical ball. So, I think I'm loose enough, kind of see where it is. So go try a 3.0 once again. Not a 1,000% five shot challenge, but I still don't know what this ball is gonna do. Um, and yeah. <laughs> so shot number one, I'm gonna stay in that same general area. See what happens, shot one. Oh, late four. That one had <laughs> the potential to kind of sail on me, a little late. So I think I need to get that a little further right. I'm gonna take one board back right. Just to try to get it closer to the gutter, just a tad bit, second shot. Maybe. Yeah. I think, so I think this is one of those heavy, heavy rolling solid. So I'm gonna move a little bit further right. But you can kind of see, Hazmat was 10 back from there. So I think, when I move one, I'm gonna take another three right. Three right, third shot, see what happens. Better hook. Give me that. <laughs> That's the third shot. So I think this is definitely one of those big balls. Play start off right with it. 
we'll see how it does when they open up. But uh, yeah, fourth shot. Yeah. So that's like your not as straight as the katana was that the legend was. I can actually play this line. It's still letting me have open angles just further right. Like it's not making me play straighter, which nobody wants to do with a solid. So this is my relative right. <laughs> so last shot, five shot challenge. There you have it. Okay, you guys just watched all of that footage. Our Patreon members, YouTube members, you guys, it's been a few months. But you guys said you guys wanted bowling balls, right? Perfect complement to the 3.0, would probably be like a 2.0 hybrid. So all of you guys are eligible right now. So I'm gonna spin this wheel and the winner of a Hammer Black Widow 2.0 hybrid is you. Thank you guys, inbox me and I'll get that sent out. Make sure you become a Patreon member or YouTube channel member. I'm giving away a ton of bowling balls this year. And if you like the merch, the website is under design, so that'll be up soon, so just bear with me, all right? Okay, so final thoughts. Best way to describe this ball is it's all meat. No fluff, no condiments, all meat. <laughs> Once you find that zone, is you can eat all day in there. And it would probably be best for like sport conditions, something with a higher volume, something with more defined areas of lane play. Um, on house, you're gonna get maybe a game and a half out of it, maybe two games if you're lucky. Two games is pushing it unless your house really oils. Once you stop striking, you either make, have to make a giant zone move, and then if that's not there, then completely get out of it altogether. It's too much ball, and if it's not there, it's just not there for it. I did throw this on sport. I think I threw it on the highway to, I think it was highway to hell version two, and this is the only ball that I can throw because there was an out of bounds, but it still had a ton of friction. So I could just get really deep and wheel the whole lane, and it was still there for that, but on house, you can't get away with that because this ball needs oil. Check out the original five shot challenge. 
and you can kind of see, yeah, like, yeah, this ball really needs oil, but this ball is something special for sure. Definitely in my bag. First shot, five shot challenge. That six pin is trash, but I'm still gonna throw it. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Second shot. That's the right. There we go. This Second. is the same way out as my supernova was. And I see not a lick of oil on this ball, so. Third shot. So fourth shot. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move one left. I'll make it two, two left. Try to get it to that same spot to the right. It's like I need a whole lot more oil out here. Last shot, five shot challenge. I'm taking one back right. Maybe. Yeah. It's your five shot challenge, y'all. 